السلام عليكم Honorable Assistant, Professors, Doctors and PhD Students I'm glad to be here with you today in the first international conference on sustainable energy and advanced materials My name is Esma Misum, I'm Doctor Assistant in Besha University I'm a member in Laboratory of Physics and Semiconductor Devices I'm going to, I'm presenting for you my work which is about analytic band energy optimization of ENGSP on EMP quantum well lasers for 1.55 micrometer application. I'm going to start my work with an outline, which is contained in an introduction. The aim of our work, I'm gonna demonstrate this our structure model, and after that, I'm gonna uh, give you our theoretical model. We have some results according to our theoretical model, we have to discuss them. And finally, a small conclusion. A quantum well lasers have been developed so extensively. They exhibit many advantages, such as very low threshold current density, high coupling efficiency into optical fiber, low attenuation and dispersion for optical fiber application. So for this reason, I choose ENGSP on EMP 1.55 micrometer multi quantum well structure the aim of our study is the study of the effect of phosphor concentration on the transition energy in the quantum well based on ENGRSP using an analytic band energy which is Makino formula <clears throat> our study structure is a quantum well based on ENGRSP as quantum and EMP as a uh, barrier. A schematic, a schematic energy band diagram representing the quantized to quantized level is despite in figure one. The discontinuities delta E E C and delta E V of the edges uh, conduction and valence band at the heterojunction junction A C N and E H Ash are the quantized energy levels in the conducts and the valence. ECR is the transition energy. This is the, the, the effective masses using in our model structure for uh, the well and for the valence, the, uh, the, the barrier, for the barrier. Our trioch model <coughs> is uh, is the solution this one is the solution of the parabolic band model <coughs> so we use it to calculate e uh, the quantized energy level in the valence and the conduction uh, in each time e represents c the conduction and v the valence this one is the first approximation uh, is uh, taken from the uh, the the, the, the uh, parabolic band uh, the, the the exact solution the first exact solution when delta e become infinite we use we use this two this two uh, formula to calculate this result <coughs> And we have some results. In order to optimize the better achievement of well with it, uh, for the wavelength 1.55, we have those results. Uh, we have those results. We have calculated subband energy for conduction and for valence band. We uh, use it to uh, calculate in the figure one. The figure one is the study of variation of wavelength in terms of well with it for difference more fraction and for quantum wells based on ENGRSP on EMP. So we notice that for less we notice that for less than y equals 0.9 the variation of well wavelength cannot achieve 1.55. So for this reason, for this reason, 
we, uh, we, we, we change the interval of study to y more than 0.9. We can notice that the, all the graphs across 1.55 for difference for difference well with it. Okay? And we observe that for, uh, the, for the highest of concentration of the phosphor in the alloy, the transition in energy increase and the wavelength decrease. Figure 3 is the result of variation of wave well with it as a function of more fraction. Why? It shows that for a more fraction y, equals 0 0.92 and 93 and 94 and 99 95 the well way that takes uh, from this one to this one the well way that takes a large uh, values of where wavelength uh, well with it uh, from uh, 200 to until uh, 130 whereas the number of levels the, the number of energy levels increase okay so we must take we must study the well with it to less to to to, to less than a hundred angstrom in parallel more uh, it why more than 0 0.9 so in this results for the first transition we use the uh, heavy holes effective mass, the heavy holes effective mass. Uh, and for the second and the uh, third transition, we use the uh, light holes effective mass for the barrier and the well in each equation. It's, it's due to the orthogonality of the solution of studying e equation. We notice that for the second and the third uh, uh, transition, the wavelengths became converged to less than 1.55. But for the first transition, the difference between two successive fraction, uh, fraction mole is clear and they all pass through 1.55, <coughs> which is appear in figure 5. Okay? This is a small comparison between a Makino, 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 and um, my model, and another model which is Loki model, uh, to illustrate uh, illustrated in figure, in this figure, uh, we can notice that uh, we use two uh, two two formulas: the analytic and the approximation. We can notice that the analytic formula is uh, almost clear, and we can notice that the, so the, 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 the two formulas are almost equal to uh, the well with it when the well with it became larger, more than 140. So uh, it's better to use the analytic formula uh, than the approximation. As a conclusion, we notice that, as a result, a highest injection of P in the alloy in the well of ENGSP effect on the large of the band so uh, that it became larger because uh, EG of ENP equals 1.35 electron volt for less than 0.92, the injection of P is more than 0.8. Uh, the energy of transition becomes bigger than 0.9, which is correspond to our uh, wavelength 1.55. The wavelength becomes uh, less than 1.55. So we avoid to use, uh, uh, to study this structure less than uh, Y equals 0.92. 
we neglect the second and the third transition in the calculation of transition uh, because because they cannot achieve the la la laser wavelength that we want to use in our study and for perspective of our study uh, i want to study uh, a fermi energy in engsp on emp structure from 1.55 and uh, i want to study the optical gain for the same uh, laser and thank you for your attention